Money is power. And ladies, it's time to level the playing field. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Makers Money. I'm Sally Krawcheck, CEO of Elevest, the top-rated investing platform for women. We're here in New York. We're drinking a little wine, and we're talking money. And today, ladies, let's get paid. You've heard of the gender pay gap, right? The one where we women are paid 80% of what men are for doing the same jobs, and even less if you're a woman of color. Don't think it affects you. It does. Somewhere in the unwritten rules of success have been passed down for decades. The guys learn to negotiate their salaries and they negotiate it every time they get a job offer and every performance review. And unfortunately, for a whole bunch of different reasons, we women, we do so at significantly lower rates. But here's some encouraging news. Women who ask for raises tend to get them. According to a study done by Elevate Network, 75% of professional women in that community who asked for a raise last year got it. Now, exactly how many of those women do you think received a salary decrease? Zero. That's right, zero. 75% got a raise and zero got a decrease. So the lesson here is ask. But how do you go about doing that? Well, I've got three steps for you. Step number one, important, figure out how much you're worth. What's the average salary for your job, in your industry, in your geography? The more specific you can be, the better. And you don't know? Well, sites like Comparably, Get Raise, Glassdoor, they're all good starting points. Step number two, set the stage for the raise with your boss. And that means having the what does success mean for me conversation. And it should include, if I'm successful, this is how much money I should be making. And this needs to happen well before it's time to dole out raises, as in it needs to happen this month. Step three, you've got to come to that meeting prepared. Show up with clear ideas of what success in your job looks like. And the more you can quantify it, the more numbers you can put to it, the better. And the more this feeds into your company's success and pro tip, your boss's success, the better. Agree with your boss on what those milestones look like Write them down, write them down, and then go kill it. Come review time, there's not gonna be a lot of room for misunderstanding. Joining us today is Sally Thornton, founder of Forche, an executive recruiting firm. Welcome, Sally. Thank and cheers. you. Cheers. I'm so glad cheers. to have you join me. Thank you for having me. So you spent your career helping women live their fullest life in the workplace. What's your advice to everybody to be at their best? Two things. One is actually embracing the fact that we're human. Mm -hmm. So it's, are we providing psychological safety? Are we giving people workplaces with curiosity, mm -hmm. generosity, empathy? Like these are things we actually really need to do our best work. The other thing I would say is if we can move forward professionally without taking a step backwards at home, that allows us to flourish. Mm -hmm. So we want to get more women into positions of leadership. What advice would you give to women who are looking for that raise and for that promotion? Um, explicitly go for it, <laughs> but the, go for it with data, mm -hmm. right? So if we have knowledge, uh, the science actually shows we negotiate better than men. Mm -hmm. And also figure out the win-win, right? Because when we're asking for something, we want to be on the same side of the table saying, how does this benefit the company so it doesn't feel zero sum? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I hate to ask this, but I have to. What are the biggest mistakes you see women make at work? I'll take a sip. Yeah. Um, I'm sure I've made them all. I, <laughs> we all have. Mm -hmm. uh, that's part of learning, right? Yep. I would say it's the it's the lack of confidence. Mm -hmm. So so I feel as if now we are having an awakening of mm -hmm. how do we stick together and how do we support each other. I think sometimes too we think of negotiation and women thriving as that someone else is not thriving. Yep. It's not true. Well, and I think that's changing. It used to be there was only one seat at the table yep. for the woman. Yep. And I think, you know, the me too moment, the times up moment is really changing that where we're recognizing the more the better. That's exactly right. Diversity right. is better. That's okay, exactly we ask right. this question of everybody who joins us. Okay. Again, you might need to take a sip of wine for this one. What is the stupidest thing you've ever done with your money? Mm. Big sip. Yeah. Um, okay, gym memberships. <laughs> I hate recurring expenses that are guilt-ridden. Mm -hmm. So I thought if I signing up for a gym, like that would guilt me into going. Yeah. It does not. No. 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 What's the smartest thing you've ever done with your money? 
I started early when I moved to New York and I made zero point zero zero dollars, uh, maybe a little bit more. Um, I had to think about where every dollar went. So I actually had something that was like a sharp calculator and I would track every dollar. It became for me a gaming mindset. How do I know where everything goes so that I can essentially save as much as possible? And I wanted to, at a goal, I wanted to pay for my own wedding. And so when I had a game mindset and a goal, I could do it. And do you do that today? Absolutely. You are so great to be with us here. <laughs> Thank you so Thank much. You. All right, now my favorite part. Let's get to questions from all of you. The first one, I was just passed over for a promotion and a male colleague got it instead. His performance hasn't been nearly as good as mine. What should I do? Well, first of all, I'm sorry. That is so tough. Ugh. Now, the first thing you're gonna do is you're going to go into your manager's office and you're gonna ask him or her for feedback. What could you have done differently to have gotten the job? If it's that your performance needs to improve in a certain area, great, fantastic because now you know what to work on. On the other hand, you hear, well, you just weren't the right fit, you're not ready for it, or you need more marketing experience, but they never give it to you, or anything having to do with gender or age, not cool. Let's not go all the way there, but at some point, if we have to go all the way there, then it may be time to have a conversation with HR or even look for another place to take your talents. On to our second question. I've been with my company for two years and haven't gotten a raise yet. I'm going to ask for one, what do I do in that meeting if the answer is no? Well, I would take the opportunity to go in there, not with just the ask for the raise, but 37 other things that you want and don't leave that meeting with your boss without getting a yes on one of them. Okay, like what other things? Some examples, to take a coding class, to take an executive MBA course paid for by the company, maybe ask for an overseas assignment. Notice none of these things are money, but all of them can turn into money later, so they're all valuable. You should definitely also ask to have your pay reevaluated next quarter. And honestly, if you can't get a yes to that or any of your 37 other things, that's a signal because then it's time, my friend, to look for a new job. Look, asking is hard, and it seems to be especially so for us women. I've been in the not so glamorous compensation discussion myself, the one where you're vomiting up all over yourself verbally and your neck is splotching, so I promise you, I get it. But making an ask is like anything else. It just takes practice. If it helps, start with smaller asks and work your way up to the big leagues. The truth is, no one is ever gonna care as much about your career as you will, so advocating for yourself is non-negotiable. We wanna hear from you. Tweet to us at, at @makerswomen and use the hashtag MakersMoney or send your questions to me at makers.com. Thanks so much to Sally Thornton for joining us. And until next time, remember, more money, more power.